Day. In this short video, we're going to decode Dell's nomenclature for their monitors. So you can see on the screen here, we have a whole bunch of Dell S2721 monitors. Now, it's pretty rational to think that monitors with the same model name, you know, S2721, are really the same monitor. And that the letters afterwards relate to things like the dock or the base that it comes with, you know, so whether it's got USB ports in it, whether it goes up and down, whether it swivels, but that's not what it means. And these are very different products. So let's go through a couple of things. Firstly, S means that it's a retail product and S means that you cannot buy it through the premier program. You have to buy it through retail. That may be annoying to some people, but it's the way it is. 27 is the size of the monitor and the next two digits are the year that it first was released. So this is a 2021 monitor, but there is a 2022 model. As you can see here, there's a lot of them. Let's go back to the 2021s. So let's go through and explain a few things that everybody should understand before they purchase a Dell monitor. For instance, this S2721 HSX and S2721D are almost the same price. One's a class D, one's a class E, and just because we're here, we're gonna spend one second and explain that. So you can see here a class D is in this range and a class E is in this range, which you probably already figured out. The lower the letter, the, the less electricity it uses. But look at the resolution. So I actually wanted a normal 1920 by 1080 monitor, whereas this D version is a completely different screen, quad HD. 2560 by 1440. And then this other one, the S2721QS, is a full 4K monitor. And it just goes on from there with things like the inputs. And you can see here the base is better. So when you see an H in a Dell monitor name, it relates to the base moving up and down. S relates to swivel and X relates to pivoting back and forth. And all of these monitors support AMD FreeSync technology. And what that does is relate to when you're playing a game, if there's tearing or if the, if the frames are out of sync. AMD FreeSync technology is an AMD proposal that became an industry standard uh, to solve uh, two major problems. The first one is tearing, when the GPU is sending frames too fast to the monitor which allows the monitor to put multiple frames on screen at the same time. It's this ugly line through the display. You can solve that problem with a technology called V-Sync, which tells the GPU to wait to send a frame in sync with the monitor, but when the GPU has to wait, it causes frames to be delivered to the screen at uh, varied intervals, which makes the gameplay feel choppy. AMD FreeSync technology solves both of those problems by synchronizing the display and the graphics card at a one-to-one -one rate. The most exciting thing about AMD FreeSync is actually in the name. We don't charge any licensing fees to the manufacturers to participate in the AMD FreeSync program. There are also no hardware requirements that uh, the monitor manufacturers need to purchase from us. You know, all of those things represent cost savings. When it's free to license, free to use, free to implement for the manufacturer, those savings can be passed on and that's why we named it AMD FreeSync Technology and that's what really sets us apart from the other technologies. All right, now the, as you can see here, there are three different levels of FreeSync. One is FreeSync Premium, which uh, is valid for monitors that are at least 120 hertz. And then there's Freemium Pro, and I could read this, but uh, why don't you just read it? Because most people aren't going to be interested in this. We're just going to skip. Other than to say this S2721 DGF supports Premium Pro technology from AMD FreeSync. And if you want more detail, just surf off to www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. We have the full list here of what these letters mean and and how you can decode the Dell monitor nomenclature. Now, if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like. It's very helpful for the Google algorithm. Subscribe's also great. You can leave a question below uh, in comments, or you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Like we said, thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.